<laughs> hey guys, so I hope you guys understood how to report players from the video that I released uh, less than two hours ago. Now we're going to watch Zephyr playing the ELC Even 90. He is top tier with a scout. Nice, very nice. That's rare. Because when you play light tank, you are usually bottom tier. If you're eight, well, you're going against ten. If you're six, you're going against eight. If you're seven, you're going to say you get the idea. I'm Lord Greg, indisputable ruler of Demented X. Oh, oh my god. Not one of those. <laughs> I don't know, man. These new commanders with these weird voices. I just hear them and I I cringe. But it's not our friend's fault. Okay, I mean the, the company made it like that. There's nothing you can do about it. Let's see, he's platooned with a Forest Spirit, a.k.a. SU 1.30 p.m. Now it's, uh, but now it's 1.41 p.m., so I'm surprised that he's still alive. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sorry, this is Uncle Zach being silly. Let's see, nice bush to spot from. Not the classic one where people go and they choke and he knocks down the tree, and now everyone knows where he is. Well, not everyone. People were paying attention to either the minimap or people who have the you-know-what. Oh, uh, let's see. Four Spirit says, attention to H9. Artillery shot just came in. I, uh, probably from the FB-304, because the FB-304 has this big arc. Let's see. They Wait, the FV-304 is tier... Oh, yeah, tier 6. Yeah, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, my bad, my bad. Low, bottom tier. Two RTs per side. Couple of tank destroyers, couple of lights... Three heavies, one on each tier. Nice, it's balanced. And now they just exchange. Uh, the enemy team lost the E25, which is good. And the FP304 took out the Cheeto SP. How did that happen? Okay, whatever. Okay, now our buddy is thinking, shall I go up that uh, classic spotting location? Or should I run around and do what? Maybe he's afraid of being spotted. He is actually pinging C7. It's like he probably is telling his allies, Oh, take a shot, you're spotted. You're spotted, take a shot. Yeah, he was spotted. When you're spotted, yeah, take a shot and run. That's good. That's quite good. I totally agree, mon chéri. Although you have a commander who is, well, way far than French. Or whatever that accent was. LHMTV has been spotted. So has been AMX 1375. Ooh. Spots SU-100. Nice. Ooh, nice. SU-100 is almost dead. Shoot him. Shoot, 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 shoot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice. He waited until the aiming finally finished, which took at least four seconds. And then Wargaming tells you aiming time, two seconds. Now, come on. You guys know that I am honest. And I don't take any BS. And I don't give you any BS. One of the biggest BS aspects of this game is the fake numbers that Wargaming has put on paper. Aiming time, two seconds. And you're looking at your aiming and you see it go like this. One, and you're counting. One, two, three, four, about around four and a half seconds, you're finally fully aimed. And then you take the shot and the shot goes. Yeah. Some of my friends are Wargaming employees. I cannot tell you who they are, okay? That would be breaching uh, trust. Whatever. Whatever. You get the idea. I cannot tell you who they are. But, because they watch my videos and I know it, um, you guys at Wargaming, what the fuck? What the fuck? Couldn't you fix at least that? Put the actual aiming time. Nice. Nice auto-aim there. Good. On that ME1. No one went to the choke point to defend the mountain pass or on, on uh, J at, excuse me, at uh, J45. Over here, you see where the SU-152 is, where I'm pointing my mouse? No one went there for some reason. Oh, well. Oh, well. Whatever. This is not going to be a very easy fight. First time I watch this, of course. I always do that. I make the commentary for the first time. I don't prepare anything. Hello! Tracked. 
Very nice. That Emil probably is um, on a reload. But now he's probably reloaded, so I wouldn't go out there again. Tell him the entry why I'm going to help you. He says thanks. Oh, he is getting hammered by the FV-304 because no other artillery other than the FV-304 and the bishop could actually do that. Because these two artilleries have this overpowered arc. In my opinion, it's an, it's overpowered. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Da, 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 da. Nice. What? What? Hello. And no, I wouldn't recommend that you jump on him because then you would... Yeah, exactly. Then you would be stuck there. Nice. Uh, that FV-304 is somewhere around C4. Judging by the arc that came in twice. Or maybe one was the M44 on the enemy team. Yeah, M44, FV-304. Both tier 6. Hmm. Okay, score is 8-7. He's the only one who's coming here with a light tank that has, well, zero armor, but of course he has superior camo? Superior view range? But still, if someone is... If, has set up an ambush for you there it's gonna get ugly very quickly now the score is tied they're having a brawl up there at um b7 a8 as you can see on the minimap top right let me see mm -hmm. top right yeah over there he knows where most of the enemies are look look what he did he did something very simple he said there are seven enemies alive i know where four are and the other two are artilleries Four, five, six. So only one enemy vehicle is unaccounted for. Now he's going to spot the M44, I presume, who is most likely at uh, A3, A4. Most likely. Or maybe he moved up all the way to A5 or A6 to have a better arc on those guys which are on low... Ah, hello. One. Two. Three. Oh, come on, War Gaming. Look at the the second roll was 179. Are you kidding? When the average damage is 220. Like what? Oh, ay ay ay. Okay, now he's pretending that he's running, but he's I think he's going to set up an ambush for this guy. He's like, "Hello. Surprise, mother." Uh Okay, okay. I really like what you're doing. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> bye bye. Oh man, poor IKB he didn't send a shot. Oh! He got shot by his own artillery. <laughs> what the <laughs> Really? <laughs> well, buddy, there's no team damage, so don't worry. <laughs> Hello. Move. Nice. Okay, now he's doomed. Oh, ooh. Don't let this. That, yeah, good, good choice. You know why? Because this guy. <laughs> Ah, uh, he didn't take the shot. Thank God he didn't take the shot. Okay, this guy is still on the reload. There's not much he can do. Um, now he's on 80 HP. Okay. Okay, good, good. Very good, very good. He can't shoot. He can splash you. Look what he did. Look what he did. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, so, oh, ouch. XM just took out the forest spirit. There goes Death Skull, his... Um, friend which was on three kills that i didn't mention before from the same clan agfor clan sorry i didn't mention that either now he they have an lhm tv to dig out and an xm 66f that i think it's the if i remember correctly it's the heavily armored one that we got from the loot boxes i've only played it once or twice i can't remember i can't oh man i really have to start playing this game again really to make some credits and you know buy all the tanks that i want tech tree tanks mind you uh, apart from the loot boxes, which I get during the holiday seasons, you know, towards the end of the year, uh, I don't use the other name because it, 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 it has nothing to do, it has, 25th of December has nothing to do with the birthday of one of the most famous personalities in history, okay? He was born during summer, for those who didn't know that. This is not a religious channel, but I'm just telling you, historically, he was not born... 
that really nice guy, which I respect and love, was not born in 25th December. That was the pagan god Mithras. For those who don't know, look it up. Mithras, Dionysus, Osiris, Isis, Isis, Isis the... Not Isis the terrorist. Isis the, 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 the ancient Egyptian uh, pagan gods. Horus, Isis, Osiris. These three. Look it up. Look it up. Same story, 2250 BC. Anyway. Histor that's historical. Look it up if you don't believe me. Okay, somewhere there. So basically, during the holiday season, I go and I pick up my loot boxes because I get tons of... Um, tons of gold. On average, I get around 60 to 75,000 gold with not too much money. Okay, I play this game for a hobby. I love it. I still put... I still put a little bit of money in it every now and then, but very carefully. In the past, I used to put... I was totally addicted. Well, that's how I got the name Watt Attic Global. World of Tanks Attic Global. So you guys learning a little bit of a history. Now let's put some cap pressure on these guys. Stritzvan, yes, he's on a one-shot, but, well, when you put cap pressure, you actually make your enemies do mistakes. Make mistakes, not do mistakes. Make mistakes. XM is on six kills, man. Respect. LHMTV, one kill. And they have one artillery alive. That is the AMX-13 F3, the guy who shot him accidentally. <laughs> I believe it was him. Yeah, I believe it was him. You never know. I mean, yeah, cap pressure is good. Oh, hello, XM. Hello. Hello. What is he going to do? Not nice. Now the XM is a one shot, which is very good. Buddy, I would. Uh, 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 what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's, it's, yeah. He's going to leave the cap circle. He's going to come around here. Let's hope you do not get spotted. Hello. 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 What? What? Nice. Not very nice. Uh, you have... Wait, 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 wait. Are you... You're not reloading. No, he's not reloading. I really like what that thing is doing. It's... Um, uh, okay, whatever. Did you guys notice that? When he was on a one-shot... GG. Good job. Good game. Did you guys notice what happened there? Um, that it, the, the final uh, shot in the clip was blinking. Did you guys notice that? Good job, my friend. Let's see how well you did. First, Fighter, Duelist, FFE, and Bruiser. 100, almost 108,000 credits. 2.25 KXP. 10,500 WN8. Not that it really matters, but okay, fine. If, for some people it matters. For others like me, it doesn't. You are first in literally everything. 1,202 base XP. Very nice. Five kills. In my books, that should have been an ace tanker. In my books. How much spotting did you get? Mm, not much. Okay, less than a thousand. Great, very good. Very good. He lost some credits. He had fun. Now, I have a surprise for you. Now, I am sure that you guys... Are trying to guess what's the surprise it is none other than the new tank which was released by wargaming and they stole all our resources in general played by our friend minotaurus 333 from the kabov clan tier 9 and 10 this is one of the nicest maps in the game this is an encounter steps very nice he's playing the vickers 3 he has two enemy Vickers 3, and there are, well, two and two. I cannot imagine how the matchmaking, how matchmaking was the first hour after this thing was released. We would have like seven Vickers 3 per side, or eight. Or you guys remember when Wargaming used to give out these gifts, these, you know, little tier 3, tier 2, tier 4, sometimes. Sometimes even tier 5 and tier 6. Like, for example, the VK-28 with a 105mm gun. You guys remember what used to happen in the match game? From the 30 people, you used to have at least 27 playing the same vehicle. And we, we would enter the battle, everyone was like, LOL. <laughs> when a new vehicle, you know, and everyone wants to test it out, and everyone chooses the same thing. Nice shot there on that AMX M451. 
it's an encounter, but which is and the base is on the right. But everyone, this goes out for everyone, not to my friend, everyone. Everyone, well, they go to the classic points and they play the game normally. Like it's a, you know, it's a regular, regular game. Now, encounter is 15 minutes, unlike assault, which is 10, I believe. You know, when one team defends, the other attacks. Am I correct? Yeah, I believe assault is 10 minutes. It is. It is. Encounter is 15. The only difference is that you have one base. And, well... Everyone should be converging on that base, in my, in my honest opinion. A very good strategy is that some people would rush the base and the others would cover them. But, well, what do I know? Maybe I'm wrong. Nice shot there on the move. Ooh. Oh, wait. What number are you, buddy? Let's take a look. You are Wargaming's proud customer number 10,047. Congratulations. Let's continue. 10,047. And since I am using a special version of World of Tanks in which the only mod that I have installed is the illegal mod, according to Klaus Kellerman, <laughs> and I should... Um, I, I have been granted special permission from Wargaming, or maybe I didn't get special permission from Wargaming, so I should get, get banned for using this illegal mod. <laughs> Oh man, that's always going to be a joke on this channel. Always, always. And the other one. You don't know the game mechanics. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So, the only mod that I have installed on this version of World of Tanks is the free camera. And since I don't have anything else installed for your guys' pleasure, because some people used to complain about the other mods that I had a couple years ago, uh, you see the actual number. That's the point I was trying to get to. The point wasn't about making the joke, the classic joke about CK. Nice, he took out the charmle. 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 <laughs> That's the point I'm trying to make. There are mods in Aslan where you could actually modify the number and you could put 0001, number one. But... You're the only one who sees it. Sees it. Any other person who's not using, you know, whatever, or playing vanilla, is going to see your actual number. If you have a number. If you were among the first, I believe, 40,000 customers. Customers, in inverted commas. Now, as a, as a freelancer World of Tanks... Influencer, aka YouTuber, aka gamer. Thankfully, I influenced some people not to get this thing. Why? I'll tell you why. And do not be offended, my, my friend Minotaurs. Please do not be offended. But this is my opinion, it doesn't change, okay? You want to get it? Fine. However, think of the repercussions. Think of the... Think of the, what you do to the rest of the community. You encourage war gaming. To continue on this campaign of greediness when you go out and you buy this. Very simple. Say, oh, wow, we succeeded. Great, let's do it again. And let's become even greedier next time. Have you guys noticed that in these last five assembly shops, they, the Wargaming has become greedier and greedier and greedier? Have you noticed that? That the prices keep going up? What are they going to do next? Give you 1% for every thousand gold? So you have to give 100,000 gold to get it, not 55? I wouldn't be surprised. The price was 550 gold per percentage. Of course, you're not going to put pure gold. Or I think it was 500 bonds per 1%. One, per 1 it was less in the previous, uh, previous assembly shops. Which means that World Gaming is getting encouraged by people who go buy it and they sell out. So they say, oh, great, success. Nice. And since they kind of have like a monopoly on this aspect and World of Tanks has 
become a much better game graphically. Graphically, I'm talking graphically. You remember the old World of Tanks when the the, the graphics were eh, eh, kind of a little bit almost cartoony and they weren't so good. Now the graphics are top notch. Old computers do not run this game anymore. They can't. Many people had to upgrade in order to play their their favorite game again. They couldn't run it even on the lower lowest settings. It was ridiculous. When World of Tanks was first released in late 2000 and turn early 2011, I remember the advertisements. I remember seeing the game, but not actually playing it because I started my account in August 2014. For those who know, and I remember that it used to run. Excuse me, it used to run on even low laptops. Now look at it. Now it's, the graphics have become gorgeous. We have to we have to admit guys we have to give credit they have done an amazing job in that aspect over the years wargaming has lost a lot of customers and potential customers i have seen many comments on the x forums and on other cc's videos saying that no i'm not going to play this game because i've heard the worst so these people were influenced not to even try and try the game that i do not agree with you should try the game and see if you like it and you can keep what you love about the game. Of course, you're going to run into toxic players, shitty matchmaking, crap RNG. But there are still fun elements of the game that you could enjoy. And why am I doing this? Well, it's because, I don't know, it just came out just like that. Is it relevant to what's going on in the battle? Not necessarily. But it's relevant to the game itself. I'm not going to tell you a random story about a bird and a bucket and a... And a when I went to buy some coffee and this woman wanted to buy a, catch a bird in a bucket, which is ridiculous, totally irrelevant. Or like, uh, for example, how my uh, how my father uh, uh, keeps complaining about everything. Well, for those who are paying attention, you know what I'm talking about. When I mention something, it's going to be relevant to the game. Now our friend is using his gun to its potential, not maximum potential, but, well, yeah. He has a DPM of less than 3,000. I'll calculate it. You guys remember the review I made about this video? That is if all your shots connect, and if you have targets, and if you just keep your mouse, your finger depressed on the mouse button. Only then, and if your shots connect, then you do that damage. With a gun rammer, it goes a little bit above 3,000. Without a gun rammer, below 3,000. I don't remember. Go check out the video. It was released, I don't know, four or five days ago. I can't remember. Can you penetrate this guy? Yes, you can. You can. Ah. That thing has trollish armor. The, the, the I don't know, the uh, Swiss Round 103B is trollish. It could sit in front of you, and you could have a hard time trying to penetrate it. Oh, look at this. Apollo, nice. Nice. Very nice. What? what? Well, he, paid, he repaid him back. Oh, T95, he's using a small gun. 444? Really, T95? Well, maybe he just got the tank and he doesn't have all the modules. Or maybe he's just one of those players who prefers to play with a small gun to have faster reload and better DPM. Why not? Why not? I play my favorite high tier artillery, the SPG FV3805, the tier 9 that you guys know. I play it with a small gun, which is far superior than any other gun in the game regarding SPG. And in proper context at high tiers. Because at low tiers, we know what we have. <laughs> we have crazy. DPM monsters like the leaf blower. And now this guy's gonna pay. Shoot. Wargaming said no. Said that shot is gonna go hit the dirt. That didn't hit. The other shot connected, but we don't know. Ah, okay. Okay, he's dead. Gonkiewiska. Is that how that vehicle is pronounced? Gonkiewiska? If someone is polish please let me know i hope i didn't murder your language i apologize i don't know how it's pronounced i don't i assume it's gon gonkie visca gonkie visca maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm right 
let, let me know in the comments below or send me an email or something and tell me it's pronounced like this and try to write it in, you know, in uh, transliteration, if you guys know what it is. Not translation, transliteration. Transliteration is when you use letters in a peculiar way in order to explain how a word is pronounced. Mm, oh, that was not very good. The enemy Vickers 3 used the heat round over there. And he took him out. Very nice. Marussia. With a triple S. Marussia. Oh, very nice. M60 shot him. Is that an M60? Yeah, M60. In, uh, in Greece, and especially in Athens, we have an area called Marussi, which is in the northern suburbs of Athens. So you, I tell you stuff which is related to the game. Okay, one capture point <laughs> reduced. Uh, nine seconds on the clock. Uh, the other guys are moving in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice! Nice! That, uh... That uh, guy had most uh, capture points, so yeah. Now it's lost. And now there's nothing the enemy, the enemy can do. They were about to win, but... The, um... The, uh, the guy on the right, what's his name? The TS-60 came for... For the win. Oh! And he got taken out. But it's okay. Because this guy, now he is alone versus five players. And what? Seriously? Buddy, seriously? Oh, come on. Come on. Remove that. Remove that. Ugh. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. That, look what happened. We didn't... Seriously? I don't know if we could go back. Let's see if we could go back. The game crashed. So, while the game is loading, guys, do me a favor. You who send replays, go into your options and remove that option that when you die, you see the entire shot and the enemy and where it came from and the caliber and this. The, no one really likes it. No one. Especially when you are your, your replay is being featured. Please do not do that. This goes in general for everyone, okay? Uh, you know which option I'm talking about. Let me pause the recording and go back to that location. See if I could, you know, put it in free camera. We shall see. Otherwise, I'm going to go to the post-game stats right away. I'm pausing the recording now. Okay, so we're back. Let's put this... Let's pause this. Let's go into the free camera. Remember, either I have taken special permission from Wargaming to download a mod which is on their official mod head for the public, which even... Uh, your grandmother could probably use. I'm just saying. Or, or, I downloaded an official public mod from the mod hub, but it is illegal to to use in the replay. So my cat, I should be banned as what well added global. <laughs> okay, let's see. Free camera. Smoothie. Smoothie! Put it on smoothie. Let's see what's going to happen when he dies. He is currently at low HP. Let's put this at regular speed. That guy's going to turn around. He's going to shoot him. Let's see if he's going to do the same thing. Okay. 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 It's going to do it's going to do the same thing. Let's pause the recording here. Okay, let's go and look at the post-game stats. Now we know, for sure. So. Uh, Minotaurus, my friend. First of all, let me try something. Let me try something. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went back into the game. I hit escape and there's no way to surpass it. You can't. You can't. You have to watch it because it's the option that the player has done. Oh, man. Anyway. Vickers 3. 7.4k damage. Respect. 7 kills. What are global? Thank you for adding the channel's name and the title. I really appreciate that. Please don't be offended with the things that I say. 
I will tell you the truth no matter what. Even if you are my best friend, it doesn't matter. I speak unfiltered. I speak my mind right away. Ace. Very nice. Reaper. FFE. Master Gunner. Duelist. Bruiser. High Caliber. And Top Gun for 7 kills. 97.6k credits. 3.2k XP. 32 bonds. Respect, my friend. 10, almost 10.9k W8. I wish they would change the color of that and make it even more, eh, whatever. Because, I mean, you know, black background and purple, uh, doesn't look so good. Anyway, let's see. First in everything. Everything. 7.4k damage, 7.425, 7 kills, 1 threes, 8, 5 base XP. Bellissima. Let's look at the enemy team. The enemy Vickers team, the, the Vickers team on the enemy also did quite good. One of them, the other two, the other one. Ah, what about his other Vickers? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Uh, regarding kills, C55A is number one. Basic speed, the Vickers three again. Mr. Zero Conster from the Mirko clan. Very nice. And you lost some credits, buddy. Because, well, consumables, uh, premium ammo, repair the, repair the vehicle, 19,000. Okay, it's not much. I mean, I've seen much worse than that. But then again, uh, buddy, please let us know. Is this a reward vehicle or is it a premium vehicle? You know the difference? If you don't know the difference, let me spell it out to you very quickly. The difference is that the reward vehicle doesn't give the 50% extra credits. So which one is it? But they all have the same aspects. You can move around crews for free. You can train them with 50% extra, etc., etc. But you don't get in the reward vehicles. You do not get the 50% extra credits. So tell us which which one is it? I suspect it's a reward vehicle. And tier 10, ay ay ay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Share, like, comment, or dislike, whatever. And think about joining. I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye. And of course, shout out to the members. Always. You guys are the best. Love you all. Bye-bye this time. For real. The Mountain Pass on, on uh, J at, excuse me, at uh, J45. When you put cap pressure, you actually make your enemies do mistakes. Make mistakes, not do mistakes. Because I started my account in August 2014, for those who know. And I remember that it used to run... Excuse me. It used to run... On, and if you have targets, and if you just keep your mouse... Your finger depressed on the mouse button.